artificial intelligence and medicine. Whenever any new technology comes, they say that it'll change healthcare, it'll replace doctors. Google tried, IBM Watson tried, and now it's a time of AI. AI is making a very bold statement, it'll replace doctors. Wait, wait, wait. I am not getting into the argument of whether AI will replace doctors or not. That's old. There are many, many people who have done that. But I am in a kind of a position there. Why talk about whether it replace doctors or not? Rather than that, why don't we empower the younger medical generation with the power of AI with simple ideological tools where they can use it in their day-to-day -day activities. And once they get into it, I know you guys are very, very smart. Using that tiny little tool, you might break the frontiers of medicine at one point of time. Why to have someone who's coding in the Silicon Valley to have the uh, happiness of breaking AI and breaking medicine and changing healthcare? It should be a doctor who should do the exchange. Doctors empowered with AI will be superhumans and we hope that that will happen. If you're first time here, I'm Dr. Anjit. I'm a pathology faculty at PW Medit and uh, subscribe to the uh, button. Let's talk about medicine, healthcare and AI and more. So coming back to the original problem statement, I'm going to give you a very simple demo of Notebook LM, which is one of the flagship models of Google, where I'm going to use it for a medical student, how to make their learning better, right? Okay, let's go into it. So. So if you see this, this is just a screenshot of uh, screen recording of Notebook LLM, right? So you can uh, enter into it any of your Google uh, uh, Gmails. You might have a free, you might require a pro if you are uh, getting lots and lots of inputs, right? So now what we do here is I have already created lots of things here. I'm just going to give you a demo of very simple, tiny thing which can be done, right? So create a new entire new workbook place. And here you can upload anything you want. If you have already content in your Google Drive, you can link to it. You can actually take websites. You can actually take any YouTube uh, videos also. You can also paste the text. Now I'm going to take a tiny bit of Robin's Pathology because I love the book and I want to make sure that how it can be simplified. Why to go for a lesser resource book when I have the gold in my hand, right? So I upload a Robin's Pathology. You can see that it's taking some time. It'll actually give me a very simple brief of what the book is about. So once I have it, I'll exactly tell you what I'm going to do it here, right? Let's give it some time. Uh, before uh, it can summarize things, I'm just going to give you an overview of what this is. It can create actually an audio review. If you're some person who wants to just lie in your bed and listen to the entire book, it can give you a review of any chapter, if any book you want, right? It can give it in Hindi, it can give it in multiple Indian languages, not just English. It can give you a video review also, like a simple explainer video or simple uh, a short video of any topic you want. It can give mind maps, quizzes, flashcards. My focus here in today's video will be about mind maps, right? So it has kind of concise whatever it is, fine. So now I'm going to ask it to summarize or give me a mind map on one particular topic and I'm going to tell you how to use that, right? Now let's start it. I want you to summarize on the topic of apoptosis. This also is an AI tool. When I speak, it automatically types. Maybe in the next video, I'll tell you how to do that. So once I click on a summary on a topic of apodosis, it's just going to go uh, through the entire uh, textbook of Robbins, not anywhere from the internet, not anywhere from Wikipedia, from the exact textbook of Robbins or any book you upload to it, it'll summarize it and give a detail, right? So it has given a detail of whatever uh, the apodosis things are required, right? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just scroll through it. Fine, it has done a beautiful uh, job starting from the normal definition till the FRO status, right? Now what you're going to do is, this is one particular topic in the Robbins. I want a note on this, right? So what I do is, I save this as a note. So once you save it as a note, you can see here, it has generated and made this note, right? Now, I don't want video audio on entire Robbins. I want only an apoptosis, right? So what you do here is, you click on this more button, you convert this into a source. So what it makes is, makes the apoptosis a source here, not just Robbins. And now the magic starts. Uncheck all and select only apoptosis. The moment you select only apoptosis, it's going to take the content, be it an audio review, video review, mind map, flashcard, only on apoptosis, right? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a mind map. So now you can see it, it's generating a mind map of apoptosis. Why I wanted this particular is most of the time a second year student says that, sir, I know the content, I read Robbins, I don't know how to present. Look at it. I'll just look into the Apoto's mind map. Beautiful, right? It actually tells what all headings should I go for. Maybe let's, let's go into the molecular mechanism more. Superb, right? Let's go a little bit more. Wow. All the important points it'll highlight, right? All the important points required will be highlighted here. Nephrocytosis, 
It gives what it is. What are the eat me signals? Wow, phosphatidyl serine flips to the outer membrane. Every important detail required, right? Every important detail required. Not just that, the beauty here is this you can download and paste it in your page as well, in your notes as well. It's simple, nah? it's beautiful. The reason why I wanted this is it will break down the subtopics. It will give us the important headings what you have to write in theory exam in order to get a distinction. Maybe I'll say that, sir, I'm, uh, uh, let's give it a good content, right? Say that, sir, I'm not... Uh, in my MBBS, I wanted to maybe prepare a little bit more. I want an in-depth understanding of what it is, right? So for that, we have multiple other options as well, right? This is a, That's all about this video. In another video, I'll go into an audio review, video review, how to use flashcard, how to use quizzes. And all these are with one AI model of Notebook 11. There are plenty of useful AI models. Trust me, I've been using ChatGPT for close to 600 days. That's close to two years. And not just ChatGPT, there's multiple AI models. Some has its own advantages, some has its own disadvantages. Good, bad, as well as ugly. Let's take the good part alone. Ugly part, the world will do. Right? The good part we will do, we will use this AI, make the learning process of becoming a doctor better. In the mode, I hope some of you guys will break the frontiers of medicine using artificial intelligence and much more and more power to doctors. If you like this video, uh, put a comment below and let's, let, let me know that what you want to review next. We'll do it uh, slowly and steadily and make sure we'll win the race. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your patient listening. Bye-bye.